Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena, also known as Fashion Lane on the ground. And welcome, 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 welcome to the affordable side of YouTube. <sighs> I feel so good to be back on, to, on YouTube. It's taken me such a long time to get back in. You know, life just be lifing, okay? However, I am back and I'm so thankful that you are here. So let's get into it. So in today's video, of course, I'm showing you some thrifted things, some of my favorite thrifted things that I picked up during the course of my absence on YouTube. So basically in today's video, I'm sharing with you about six to seven different things that I've picked up at my favorite um, vintage stores, favorite consignment shops, favorite thrift stores, and I'm sharing this all with you. It's gonna be a bit of some of my favorite winter pieces, especially in January and February that I picked up. So, let's get into this video, okay? Okay, so first things first, my favorite thing that I picked up from the thrift store was this fuzzy hat. If you haven't really paid attention or haven't really noticed, fuzzy hats have been making a bit of a comeback or a, a been trending a little bit. I don't know if it's a Y2K phase or TikTok phase or whatever, but um, fuzzy hats have definitely been coming into coming into play. And I found this black fuzzy hat at a thrift store. It was roughly about, I want to say, I don't know why my heart is telling me that it was $3.50, but I'm going to say that I believe I picked this up for $4. I got this from my favorite Value World, which um, just to let you know that Value World is one of those local Michigan and Ohio owned thrift store. So get back into this hat. So I found this hat and it's really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture of it on the side so you can see how I styled it. But this hat has been giving me life. I have been, I know that it's really, really oversized and it might be really, really big for my head, but I don't care. <laughs> I live for this hat and this hat has been having me in a bit of a chokehold for the past couple of weeks so and it's been super cold in the city so this hat has been coming through to keep my little ears warm on the side especially here up at the top and this hat has just been giving me life it's definitely had me in a chokehold so yes this is my favorite piece if you like this piece so far let me know in the comment section give me a heart something to let me know that you like this hat so this next piece that I'm about to share with y'all, when I saw it at the store, I almost passed out. Okay, first of all, if y'all haven't peeped, if you haven't saw my last vid last video, which I showed a winter haul of my favorite like outerwear pieces that I picked up, I picked up more outerwear pieces. So it's getting close to spring, but I still got to show you this jacket that had me in a bit of a chokehold, especially for February, because I specifically bought it for Valentine's Day room. Let me just show y'all. So anyways, I got this beautiful, oh, this beautiful all wool long down coat from Value World. Now this is a vintage piece. Now this piece is vintage because anything that's vintage, I believe it's like 10 years or 20 years older, is considered vintage. This I know is vintage because Jacobson, who is from Jacobson. I will show you guys a picture or just link my YouTube video. I mean, link my blog. But anyways, this is from Jacobson. Jacobson is an old, old department store. And that store has been since gone for years. I think the last time I can remember Jacobson's, I had to been like six. Like, it's long gone. So I know this beautiful coat is stunning. Stunning, and when I saw it at Value World for only $25, no, I'm sorry, $28, I had to pick it up. Somebody had put it back, and I knew it was meant for me. It was meant for me. So anyways, like I said, this is a full wool vintage coat. It is beautiful, beautiful. The lining is beautiful on the inside. Like, it had a few, um like some few stains especially at the bottom of it but i kind of just wiped it down with a lysol wipe to get some of that crud off of it but this jacket is stunning 
when I say stunning, stunning. And like I said, this is from Jacobson, old department store. I don't know if it was a Michigan department store, but I know for a fact that it was a department, an old department store. My mom used to shop at Jacobson's, especially when I was a baby. My mom used to buy a lot of my premature clothes from Jacobson. So I know about that store. And um, it's just, it's beautiful. Like, the quality of this jacket is amazing. It's so thick. It is super warm. I wore it specifically for Valentine's Day and amazing. Amazing. I'm going to show you a video over here so you can see how I styled it. But oh my gosh. Stunning. Lit. Okay. So like I said, it's vintage jacket. Jacobson only purchases for $20. $8. Let me know what you think about this jacket. Let me know in the comments and we about to move on. Let's get it. Okay. So the next few things that definitely have me in a chokehold has been my favorite are definitely button up shirts. Um, I think I mentioned this in my first ever YouTube video that I posted that um, for the fall I was definitely going for a lot of button ups and I have found so 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 many quality buttons button up at the thrift store it's amazing and they have me in a bit of a chokehold okay so first of all I'm not showing you all of my my whole full-blown collection I'll probably show that in a later video if you want to see a collection of all my denim jeans or all my um my denim jeans button up and coach bags let me know get back into what I was talking about so button up shirts button up shirts button up shirts I have so many of them I can't get enough of white button up I love striped um, button up I buy a lot of um, men button ups because I like how big they are I could tie them I could wear them off the shoulders I could tie them in the front and give like a nice band like kind of like brawly action type thing going on you know I've been finding a lot of people making creative or just being very creative when it comes up to a button down shirt and they have been my favorite that overall are my favorite but for the past winter and fall season button up shirts have definitely been my favorite so for me a lot of the button ups that I've been coming across they've been ranging from three dollars to probably fifteen depending to depending on the designer my favorite go-to designer for button up are Ralph Lauren or Polo Ralph Lauren um Nautica or anything that I see with a label that is kind of like maybe like an old vintage label that I know of off the top of my head. I know Ralph Lauren. I know Nautica. I know Lord and Taylor. Chaps. Things like that. I kind of recognize those labels. And I also look at the quality of the button up. If it has like um, a nice cotton blend. If it says dry clean, dry clean only. Those are kind of indicators that let me know that um, it's a decent quality um, button up. And it doesn't look worn or the underarms are looking really stained. We good. So button, button up have been my super favorite thing for the past two months. Let me know in the comments and let's move on to the next video. Next video. <laughs> let's move on to my next favorite item. Okay. First, wait a minute, stop the press. If you're not following me, make sure you follow me on TikTok and or Instagram because I share a lot of my favorite, favorite goods my first first and new and thrifted items first hand on Instagram as well as TikTok. So if you want to get ahead of that, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Okay. So my next favorite pieces are a few of my favorite bottoms. Cargo pants have been my favorite thing to wear this winter. They are so comfortable. I mean, you could just style them any type of way. Like, whoever told you you can't really style cargos was lying, okay? I love cargo pants, especially in the wintertime. First of all, it's the pockets for me. It's all the pockets, and I'm a person who carries a lot of things with me, and sometimes I don't have time to be carrying a lot of stuff in my hands, or sometimes I'm wearing a small bag, so my cargo pants come into into a good situation for me because I could put them in my pocket especially when I go to concerts 
but you know that's a different story anywho cargo pants have been my favorite thing for the winter um i inquired these um what are these um beautiful cargo pants from the thrift store from value world um they cost ten dollars um super sturdy Definitely can wear these a whole different types of way. You could wear it with a button up. I can't wait to honestly wear them in the summertime with a nice um, short top, a crop top or some sort or whatever. If you want to put hair with a blazer, you could get away with that. Like you could do a lot of fabulous things with cargo pants. Um, I acquired these camouflage pants. I believe these were $10 at Value World. You can probably find them a little bit cheaper at the Salvation Army, depending on if you run into them. Um, but these are men. These are men cargo pants, camouflage pants, and they're lovely. Now the next pair are another cargo pants that I've been loving. These are um, just regular, look like tactical series like you can find these on Amazon but I love these pants okay these cargo pants have had me in a choco I'll definitely show you how I styled them over here these pair as well as the camouflage pair and I believe these were also $10 10 to maybe like eight dollars depending on where you get them from i'm sure you can find them cheaper at the salvation army but cargo pants have definitely had me in a chokehold and i will not stop looking for cargo pants until i complete a full color series like i have camo i have olive pair i have a navy pair and i'm looking for a khaki color pair and once i find a khaki color pair and a black pair i will be completely set I won't be looking for any more. But until I complete my set, I'm always on the hunt looking. I've been my go-to and my favorite. So let's get into the next favorite item. If you're loving this video so far, so far, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're loving all of that, just you know, give it a like. It helps with the content that it helps push it helps YouTube push my content a little bit further so the more you like the more you see my videos the more other people see my videos and more subscriptions that I get so those are definitely definitely will help me in the long run let's get on so the next favorite things that I picked up are now I'm going to talk about um, two pairs of shoes that I found at the thrift store that have been having me in a bit of a chokehold no I keep saying chokehold but they literally have me in a chokehold okay so the first up are these now if you look at these I'm gonna keep it real with you they might you might see a little bit of friction on them I have been wearing these okay I wear my clothes I don't just buy and collect stuff I wear my items so anyways I got these leather knee-high boots as you can see they are you know a bit worn but the quality it's still there. So anyways, I got these um, knee-high all leather boots. They're not faux leather, but they're leather. It did say in the sole. Well, not the sole, but the um, the inside of the shoe. So it's basically saying the upper part is leather and the lining is whatever type of man-made material. But these are Tahiri or Tahari. I believe they're Tahari from what I can remember. Um, this is definitely a very popular, um, well-known brand. And it had me and my mom in a chokehold at one point in time. So it was very <laughs> funny to run across these... Um, these knee-high boots and they were very lightly worn like if you look at the bottom of them you could do you do see that they've been worn but the the heel itself wasn't worn to the part where it's starting to like you know have you ever seen shoes that look run down and very run over especially on the heel that's why I got the shoes and that's what I definitely look for when I purchase shoes from the thrift store to double check the heel in the sole area to see if they're super worn down like it's kind of like my look at shoes and these shoes were the perfect brown or um cognac color um because i don't have a pair of brown shoes i usually all my shoes are pretty brown i mean not brown usually are black or some type of black boot or ankle boot and to find a brown pair of knee-high boots definitely 
definitely save the day. So anywho, I found these boots. I believe they were 20, I want to say $25, but I would definitely, you know, let you know below or right here to let you know specifically how much they cost. But these boots were amazing. Um, the quality of these boots, Tahari, Tahiri, Tahari was definitely a well-known brand. It's still, it's going. You could definitely find a few of Tahari pieces. If you're looking for boots like this, you might be able to find them on um, maybe Etsy or Poshmark, Macari, any of those. Like, you know, just double check if somebody, if I'm able to find these boots, I would definitely link them below. But, yes. These boots are amazing. They're super worn. I got these in a nine and a half. I am a 10. However, before I purchased these boots, I did try them on in the store. I walked around in them for a little bit and they didn't hurt my feet. And I had to buy them. I had to buy them, okay? So these, these boots are beautiful. They're stunning. The color alone is beautiful. I, see a little bit I've definitely worn these shoes because you can see I'm walking out in the snow with them Michigan don't play no games when it comes to salt but all I have to do is put a nice little wipe on them keep them nice and neat put them away so they won't get too much worn but they're beautiful the gold trimming on them the gold like zipper like function the gold zippers on there are beautiful as well as they are still functional. That's another key point to look for. And these boots are stunning. Okay. Let me show you the other pair of boots that I love that have me in a chokehold. Now these, I don't wear these puppies. Okay. I didn't even wipe them off because I like for people to see that I have worn the heck out of these shoes. And when you hear me walking in these shoes just know I'm going hard okay just know upstairs I'm going hard <laughs> that was so corny anywho I got these I believe they're called bandolinos this is another popular brand I feel like this is definitely a popular brand in the 90s I'm not exactly sure but I know my mom was wearing bandolinos when I was a kid I remember seeing these at TJ Maxx I remember seeing them at Marshalls I remember seeing them in Macy's at a point of time or something. So I know I've seen this brand before. So I found another leather. I believe these are all leather. Let's let's double check. All leather. These are a nine. And I don't know what's going on with my feet. I wore a size 10 and I've been picking up nines and tens, but I also, I don't know. Did, my, did I lose weight in my feet? My feet still look like tens, but anywho. So I found these bandolino shoes. They're all leather. I believe I spent $9 on these boots. And what sold me alone on these boots was the square toe. I love a square toe boot. And I love how they make my ankles look when you wear skinny jeans. I just love that. It's just... I don't know, it's something about how um, put together a square toe shoe is as well as how it shapes my ankles. I just, I don't know, I just love it. And w these boots are kind of loud, so when I'm walking on the floor, people can hear me walking. So that's why I said, when you see, <laughs> when you hear me coming down the street, just know I'm going hard because I am. I love these shoes, okay? Yes, when I purchased them, they were a bit warm. However, I did doctor them up a little bit. I kind of polished the shoe a bit as well as, like right now they don't look all that great because I walk, wore them yesterday and I plan on wearing them tomorrow for work. But yes, these shoes are stunning. The heel is um, a little, was a little bit worn as you can see right here. Um, I think what I really like the most is that it had this type of, um, I got these in a size nine. Like I said, I believe they were 10 to $12. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I would definitely share, you know, in the video. But these shoes, magnifique. And I love them so, so, so much. So if you're loving the shoes that I just shared with you, please let me know in the comments. Okay, if you're still sticking with me, make sure you like this video. And I'm about to show you my last, last chokehold item. So, the last items that I want to share with you are definitely my favorite um, purses. 
handbags that I have purchased from the thrift store, consignment shots, and all that whatnot. So, um, I think one of these bags I already showed you before, but hey, I'm going to show you again because it's just that girl, okay? So, first is this Coach Little... Uh-oh showing you another but <laughs> it's this coach little bit of little baggy right here it looks like it's a wallet purse but I'm not exactly sure what this call I didn't really do a lot of research on this bag but I just know that when I purchased it from the thrift store I knew it was real coach because on the inside of it itself it has coach there as well as it has the serial number on the inside and when it has the serial number on the inside that tells me that that is a real coach the lining was great and i purchased this from the thrift store for only twelve dollars and eighty cent um it is i always keep the tag in i don't know why but i've worn this bag so many times this bag is a great bag when I run errands, okay? Especially when I'm not trying to bring a whole big purse or anything like this. When I wear this bag, I'm usually going to the laundromat. I'm usually going somewhere quick to run errands. I don't want a lot of stuff with me, just my essentials. It carries my wallet, my little car holder, um, a little perfume, lip gloss, some gum, keys, my essentials. And this bag has had me in a, a bit of a chokehold. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. But anywho, this bag is amazing. The leather is still very much intact. The strap is still very much intact. It's not that worn. I got it from the thrift store for twelve dollars and eighty cent. I believe I got this from Value World. If this is my favorite bag, it's so cute. Look at it. The next bag is a little bit more expensive that I purchased. I did buy this at a consignment shop. The quality of the bag was more intact. It still had the um, the little coach tagline on the side. And this bag has had me in the chokehold ever since I bought it. I bought it for my birthday because I deserve it. Why not? You know, you deserve to buy um, good things for your birthday. But anyways, this bag. Ooh, child is cherry okay i love this bag so freaking much okay first of all i'm not a red girl and i've been buying a lot of red as you can see this coat this coat got me the bag got me red has been my jam it's been coming through my nails got a little red tip at the top i don't I don't know what's going on, but anywho, it's this red bag. I purchased this from a boutique, a resale boutique, so I know that once they, a lot of times with um, resellers and consignment shops, they do up, up the price on certain items. They might pay us a particular price at it, and then they might, you know, upcharge you. Understand why they put a lot of labor into finding the item as well as making it appear more nice and more of value so I get why certain things so anyways this bag I purchased from a consign well not a consignment shop but a reseller it's called Mama Cools I paid $75 for this this is genuine leather it is a coach bag um it has the coach signature stitching as well as the serial number on the inside and this bag Amazing. I have worn this several times. So many times as well as it's, it has made its way on my blog, TikTok, video, Instagram, all that. So it has definitely been shared a lot. This bag is beautiful. I believe this was a 80s, it's called an 80s, um, 80s city bag. When I did the research, just sharing this vintage find. Um, so this definitely was made in the 80s. Um, it's red. It's stunning. I love the gold fixtures that's on the bag. The strap is still intact as well as stunning. Um, it does have its bit of the coach tagline, its signature tag, which is right here. And I just love this bag. This bag is super essential because it not only gives a pop of color and it's outside of my comfort zone when it comes to usually my bags stay in brown, all neutral colors, but this is a nice bag to just, you know, add a pop of color to it. Especially, I like neutral colors, as you can see. I'm wearing neutral things right now. 
And this is a great just add on to that. Like you don't feel like you have to do the most. It's classic, timeless. I paid $75 for this. I believe the actual re, the actual estimated cost of this bag is probably like $300 to $350 at the coach, at one point in time at the coach store, but I got this for 75 bucks and I don't know if I should name her. I think her name should say Cherry. Hey Cherry girl. Yes. I love this bag, okay? It was definitely a great buy. Other than my bags, please make sure you like them down below. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you're liking out of this video. Let me know what you want to see going forward. And if you guys want to see my full on collection of coach bags, because I have collected a lot of coach since I started thrifting, um, let me know down in below. I can definitely share with you all a coach, all the little coach bags that I've purchased over my course of time with thrifting. So yeah. So there you have it. All of my favorite th thrifted things. This was a thrift haul. I'm sharing with you all the stuff that I just had me in a bit of a chokehold. <laughs> A chokehold, yes. All these thrifted items have just been coming through for me for the past few months, January and February. I can't wait to share share with you all in March some of my favorite items that I picked up or in April or whenever. If you're really loving this video, if you please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you also check out my blog at fashionlaid.com where I share more of my um, thrifted goods as well as affordable goods, um, high, high, low luxury items that I share, as well as make sure, I, I'm gonna say it again, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Fashion Lane or TikTok at Fashion Lane where I share first hand, my first hand experience with the thrifted item that I purchase. A lot of time I share a lot of those thrifted things first hand on TikTok and Instagram. So it's best that you follow me there. Okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. Love it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we out here. We lit.